Hi everybody, we're going to do tomorrow's auction day auction items. So, auction number one is going to be this Westward series nickels. And two of them are gold plated. That is number one. Number two is going to be this 1980 proof set. It's got the Susan B. Anthony and half dollar quarter nickel dime penny cool set that is number two number three are going to be the dp and s's on 1979 and 1980 susan b anthony's you'll get all six of those in that lot next one is going to be it was supposed to be a hobo nickel and it's definitely a Buffalo Indian nickel, but this thing has been machined by a CNC machine. It's not carved. It is really cool though. That will be the next auction item. Then we have the complete Lincoln Penny Year collection. And every one of those years is here in the set. Cool. Tomorrow should be a lot of fun. The next auction is going to be this silver certificate, 1957. Pretty nice shape. And we have this $2, 1963. And of course, the silver certificate will have In God We Trust. But this one will not because it was not required until 1955 so that's a two bell lot the next one is going to be this quarter collection it has the first silver quarter and the last silver quarter pretty cool set right there next is this big thing here. This is uh, an Alamo commemorative. Um, it is not silver, but it is really cool. 175th anniversary of the Alamo. And it's number uh, 2463. Not sure how many of these they made. That thing is really cool, really heavy. It's got to be four or five ounces. That's pretty cool. We're also going to do two silver spoons. And let's see, which one is this? I believe this is for uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, right there, St. Louis, Missouri. Pretty cool. And this one just had a crest with a D on it. They are both sterling silver. I'll flip them over here to the back and let's try to blow this up a little. Hey, that's too much. And you can see that's a sterling right there. And that one I know is down inside that little groove there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. But they are both sterling silver. That will be the next auction item. Get my finger out of there. All right, the next one is going to be this 1876 S Seated Liberty Dime. Nice dime there. Next auction item is going to be this 1921. Yep, you can see the toning there. It's got some blues and purples. And it's got some cool toning. 1921. And do we have a mint mark on that? We do. It's an S. Sweet. That will be the next auction item. 
Then we have. Oh, what year are we? This thing has a die crack on the back. 1953. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see it through the plastic. I'll probably throw this in a flip. But it has a really nice die crack in it. Actually, a couple of nice die cracks. That will be the next item. The next one. Oh, we got to shrink this down. It's going to be the American Series. We got an uh, Indian Penny, a Liberty V Nickel, a uh, Barber Half, Barber Quarter, and Barber Dime. Nice little set there. Then we're going to do one of these casino tokens. And this is for Stockman's. And. Uh, any scratches or anything are actually on the case. These things are in really nice shape. That is uh, about a 0.6 ounces of uh, three nines fine silver. That is cool. Then we have a magic coin. And on the back of this, it's going to be my favorite year, 19. Oh, it's not. I think that's a 69. Wait, let me see. Nope, I was right. It's my favorite year. 1967. Penny on the back of that for the inside of the magic coin. Really cool. Our next one is going to be a 1906S Barber Half Dollar. 1.7 million of these minted. Then we have the Silver Mercury Dime Mint Mark Collection. So you're going to have a Philly, a Denver, and a San Francisco. And it has some information on it. And really cool. Then we have a one ounce Buffalo Indian Bar. One ounce of three nines fine silver. Really cool. Then we're going to do a 2020 W PCGS MS64 Weir Farms. And of course, this is the one that has the V75 in front of George Washington's mouth. Let's blow this up a little bit. There's your W. And there's the V-75 for victory 75 years ago in World War II. And our last option of the night is going to be the Struck at West Point. It's an early release MS-69 ASE. 2013. Those are the auction items for tomorrow night. Hope to see everybody there. Come by, join us on Coining Around. Of course, free shipping anywhere in North America and all auctions will start at $2. Have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.